Investors, welcome back to your weekly news capsule. The impact generosity can have on our life can simply be explained by saying that we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. So let's get ready and always step up to sharing, giving and being generous. Today's news highlights are UK begins COVID-19 vaccine rollout for school children aged 12 to 15 years. BTS took center stage at the UN. Cisco appoints first woman head as president of India and Sark region. 14-year-old Tamil Nadu girl Finalist for Earth Shot Prize launched by Prince William. Disruptive volcano erupts on the Spanish Canary Islands. Ozone hole over the South Pole is now bigger than Antarctica. SpaceX capsule with world's first all civilian orbital crew returns safely. Scientists create world's whitest paint, could fight global warming. Emmy Awards 2021 Tottenham to host world's first net zero carbon elite football game. Virat Kohli steps down as captain from Indian T20 squad as well as RCB. And last but surely not the least are F2 segments. Let us begin with the international news segment today. The United Kingdom has begun to roll out vaccines for 12 to 15 years. 12 to 15 years. And Scotland. About 3 million children will be eligible for the vaccine in these areas for the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. This is also being done before the winter months as vaccine camps will be easier to organize before the weather gets too cold. The National Health Service, better known as the NHS, will be taking charge of the vaccination distribution after already distributed close to 77 million doses to the United Kingdom. Once India also starts vaccination camps for children below the age of 18, Definitely remember to get yourself vaccinated to keep you and your loved ones safe. BTS took center stage at the UN. The global sensation that is the South Korean pop band BTS recently performed at the United Nations General Assembly. The UNGA is usually reserved for policymakers to make addresses. But the members of BTS were there not only to perform but also to address world leaders. The performance was streamed live with over a million viewers turning in. The South Korean band spoke about how younger generations are experiencing the pandemic and have adapted to these trying and testing times. They further elaborated about how this has caused an increased awareness towards social issues like climate change. Did you manage to catch BTS at the UNGA? Let us know in the comment section below about who your favorite member is. One of the largest IT companies in the world has appointed a new president for India and the Sark region. Daisy Chittarapilli will be the first woman to head operations in India since the company began operations in the country way back in 1995. She will be responsible for sales and strategy as well as operations and investments to chart out a good growth in the Sark region. For those of you who don't know, Sark stands for South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation with its member countries being Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, the Maldives and Sri Lanka. We wish her all the very best for her future responsibilities. Venisha Amashankar is a 14-year-old girl from Tiruvannamalai, Tamil Nadu is one of the 15 finalists for the first ever Earthshot Prize. The Earthshot Prize was launched in October of last year by Prince William to search for inspiring and innovative solutions to problems facing the planet. Venetia has designed a solar-powered ironing car 
with the potential to improve air quality across India. She's one of two finalists from our country, with the other being called Takacha, a technology that could potentially stop the burning agricultural waste and instead create profitable goods out of the material. We wish both of them the best of luck and are extremely proud of their innovative solutions to help the planet. The Kumre Vieja volcano has erupted on the island of La Palma in the Canary Islands in Spain. The eruption has caused many houses to be destroyed and has forced close to 5,500 residents to evacuate the area. The Spanish Prime Minister himself has flown to La Palma to oversee the rescue efforts. Luckily, there have been no casualties so far and temporary shelters have been set up to help the citizens affected. This volcano last erupted 50 years ago. We hope that everybody affected manages to stay safe. Our thoughts and prayers are with those affected. Hi, Graspers. The ozone hole over our planet South Pole has grown considerably in the recent years and is now the largest it's ever been. Since being spotted in 1985, the ozone hole forms annually over the Antarctic, with it being the biggest between the months of September and October. The ozone layer protects us from harmful ultraviolet radiations, but due to chlorofluorocarbons, better known as CFCs, the hole has grown a lot larger. The hole is now even bigger than the continent of Antarctica. We need to be more climate conscious, I ask us, so that we can save our planet. Four people returned from a three-day excursion into space abode, a SpaceX capsule. This marked the first time an all-civilian space crew flew and returned from space, with the passengers describing their journey as exhilarating. The crew was seen watching movies as well as responding to the ground control aboard the fully automated space shuttle. The flight apparently was not flawless, but with the help of the ground engineers on Earth as well as the crew, they were able to solve the problems aboard the shuttle. NASA has stated that this space shuttle might be one of the safest to take humans to outer space, which is great since the era of space tourism is clearly here. Scientists have now created what is called the world's widest paint, which could actually help in our battle against global warming. While this might seem strange, this paint can actually reflect 98.1% of solar light and also emit infrared heat, which can cool the air around buildings. In fact, Researchers suggest that if this paint is used to cover 1000 square feet, it could generate 10 kilowatts of cooling power. This is quite a bit and this paint will be extremely helpful for the countries that have long summers as it will reduce the need to use the air conditioners by keeping the buildings cooler than usual. It's such an innovative discovery. Don't you agree, I graspers? Tottenham FC last Sunday hosted the world's first net zero carbon football game against their London rivals Chelsea. Now I'm sure you're all wondering, what is a zero carbon football game? Well, in preparation, the club made several green changes, such as players drinking water were supplied in cartons rather than plastic bottles. Fans were encouraged to cycle or use public transport to get to the match. And all food served inside the stadium was sustainably sourced with plant-based options also available. Tottenham last year was crowned the greenest team in the Premier League. But many experts claim a lot more will have to be done for football to become a truly green sport. This is a great start though. Wouldn't you agree, I Gaspers? Virat Kohli has stepped down from his position as captain from both the Indian T20 squad as well as for Royal Challengers Bangalore in the IPL. Kohli will step down as T20 captain after the World Cup in November, with him stating that he had to look after his workload as he was getting older to ensure he can continue playing for many years. Having stepped down from RCB's captaincy as well, Kohli will be looking to help the team win their first IPL title. Now that the pressure of captaincy is off him, he will still remain captain of both the Test and ODI squads for India. Do you think this is a good move by Graspers? 
let us know in the comment section below. A team of researchers in South Korea have developed an artificial skin-like material that can adapt and change colors similar to that of a chameleon. The research team created this material with a special ink that alters its color based on temperature and is controlled by extremely tiny flexible heaters. The total thickness of this material is less than 100 micrometers, which is thinner than human hair. That's an impressive invention. Won't you agree, eye graspers? In the city of Rotterdam, Netherlands, there is now the world's largest floating office. The office is built atop 15 custom-built concrete pontoons, with the upper floors even having terraces. There are solar panels on the roof to supply energy and it also utilizes the northerly waters of the Dutch harbour as a heat sink to regulate temperatures in the offices without using any kind of climate control. The office was designed with the main aim of climate change resilience and will hopefully stand the test of time. The Emmy Awards this year were a smaller affair due to COVID concerns. But just like every year, there were several winners making quite a splash. Let's quickly take you through the important highlights. The TV show The Crown, that is about the British royal family, won seven Emmy Awards, the most of any show on the night. Other shows that won awards and did well were The Queen's Gambit, Mayor of Easttown and John Oliver's Last Week Tonight. We congratulate all the winners and hope to see them continue to make some fantastic shows. The word of the week is conundrum, which means a riddle or anything that puzzles. I love solving conundrums in iGrasp's riddle of the week section. The riddle of the week is I have branches but no fruit, trunk or leaves. What am I? A bank. Can you guess who? This American tennis player was the former number one singles player with 23 Grand Slam titles. She has won a Grand Slam on all three surfaces, hard, clay and grass. This four-time Laura Sportswoman of the Year winner was also amongst the Forbes highest paid athletes of the world. You aced it. It is Serena Jimica Williams. Did you know that Serena is a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador since 2011? She has been working consistently for the education and equal opportunities for kids in Ghana and Jamaica. What a role model you are, Serena. Did you know that blue whales give birth to the largest babies in the world. Not only are blue whales the largest known mammals in the world, but their offsprings are also the most gigantic. Newborn baby blue whales weigh 1,360 kgs, which is as heavy as a small car. After feeding on their mother's milk, they gain up to 90 kgs per day. These big babies measure 23 feet in length, as tall as an adult African elephant. Quiz time! In which ocean are blue whales either not found or are least likely to be found? Send your answers to contact us at igrasp.com. Answer to the last week's quiz. Strawberries are grown or propagated by planting strawberry runners purchased from nurseries. This certificate of appreciation is presented to Daivik Abrol of Scottish High International School for successfully participating in the weekly quiz on India's leading news capsule for tweens. I grasp. Dear I graspers, this week let us peek into the adventures of Bala. At his grandparents' house, Bala meets someone strange with nine heads. Yes, it's a monster and his name, Bukkasura. Can you guess what it demands? It wants to eat books. 
Bala keeps supplying him with interesting reeds, but he will soon run out of them. What will he do then to save himself? He makes a plan to outwit this book-hungry Bukasura. To know his plan, read this amazing piece by Arundhati Venkatesh and share your feedback with us at igrass.com forward slash iClub. This brings us to the end of today's news session. No one has ever become poor by giving. Generosity isn't just exclusively centered on someone's financial position, but it ought to be a sign of the individual's enthusiasm to lend a hand to others. Until we meet again, have an attitude of giving and sharing. And do not forget to subscribe to iGrass by clicking on the subscribe button below. See you next week. Bye-bye.